Hi, my little friends. So today, I thought I'd read us a story from this lovely book called Buddha at Bedtime. And it's really nice. Can you see this lovely, happy, smiley man up here? Can you see that? Should I put that in a little bit closer? So that's Buddha. And Buddha teaches all sorts of wisdom. And then here, this is going to be us because we want to get nice and cozy and have a little sit and a little listen to this lovely story. So the story that I'm going to read today is called The Naughty Little Rabbit. So you can see there, there's lots of lovely little rabbits and they're listening to an older gray rabbit who's called Old Silver. So Old Silver is going to teach all the little bunnies what he knows. Maybe you have a nanny or a granddad or someone in your life that's a little bit older than you, but you can learn lots of really good stuff from them. But in our story, there's a cheeky little bunny, and I'm sure we all know some cheeky little bunnies, don't we? So why don't we find out? So, relax, be very still and listen. Listen carefully to this tale about a little rabbit who didn't like going to school, a bit like me. Until one day he learned a very important lesson, a bit like me. What do you think it was? Let's see if we can find out. Now, in a magical meadow at the foot of a snow-capped mountain lived some lovely furry rabbits. Their leader was so old that his coat had turned silvery grey and everyone called him Old Silver. He was loved and respected by everyone. One misty autumn morning, he gazed out of his burrow onto the meadow. He was approached by some young rabbits who asked him if he would be kind enough to pass on some of his wisdom. Old Silver twitched his nose. Look, you can imagine him, can't you? Twitching his little nose like that. Can you twitch your nose? Might make you sneeze. It makes me sneeze when I do it quite a lot. Why not? Said Old Silver. We'll start tomorrow. Be here at one o'clock sharp and I'll teach you all I know, especially how to avoid being trapped. There's nothing more important than that. Don't be late. So the next day at one o'clock on the dot, just like getting to school for your lessons, the rabbits began their classes. All that is except one naughty little rabbit called Pip, who didn't think that learning could be worth giving up his time playing. He just wanted to have fun. So day after day, Pip went down to the pond to play with the ducks. He jumped as high as he could to win the attention of passing butterflies. Can you see? Pip there, can you see him jumping for the butterflies? And all his other little friends, they're listening, aren't they? They're going to be listening to Old Silver. And then look, there's Pip's little duck friends. Yeah? Doesn't mean that Pip's bad or anything. Just means that he's preoccupied. He jumped as high as he could to win the attention of passing butterflies. And as he went into the woods to hop through the autumn leaves and make some tunes from their crunching sounds underfoot. But one day when he was busy playing and dancing, he skipped into a net laid on the ground, which was cunningly covered with twigs and leaves. It was a trap. The net tightened around him, Looping him up into a ball. Help! I've been caught, he wailed. That evening, when Pip didn't return home, his worried mother asked Old Silver to organise a search. 
He sent the rabbits out to look in the places where Pip usually played, while himself headed for the places where he knew hunters often laid traps. He hadn't been searching long when he heard human footsteps. A man was coming. It sounded like a hunter. Alarmed, old Silver raced onto the next trap, and there he found little Pip wrapped in the hunter's net. Quickly, the wise old rabbit used his long, sharp teeth to gnaw through the ropes, just as the footsteps were almost on top of them. Silver bit through the last strand, and Pip was free. They scampered away as fast as their tiny, tiny little rabbit legs could carry them. Pip's mum wept with joy when she saw her son unharmed. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe, she cried. You gave me such a fright. I'm sorry, mum, said Pip, clinging to her. It's all right, son, she replied. But now, do you see why it's so important to create time to listen and learn from others? There are some things in life that you really need to learn. Yes, Mum, I realise that now, replied Pip. I'm sorry, old Silver. I promise never to skip lessons again. And there you can see look, the rabbit listening. So Buddha, a happy man in the clouds, says, we can all benefit from listening to the wisdom others have gained from experience and are kind enough to teach us. A wise person knows that there is a time to play and a time to learn. So if you're having your school at home this week, instead of being in your school, remember as much as sometimes we want to go out and play, we've still got to learn, yeah? And we're going to share all that learning around and make the world a big, happy place. So you stay well, lots of love, and I'll see you soon.